Silver Dollar City opens its season tomorrow. Many talented performers call the theme park home every summer. One man has been enjoying his Ozarks life at the park for many years. In Kimberling City, the lake is up. And so is the spirit of one of its residents, Brian Arnold. You hope that with your life that you do something that makes a difference. Brian's life was shaped 116 miles away in West Plains. He wanted to be like his dad, basketball coach Bob Arnold. At the age of six, um, I slipped under a, a lawnmower. It was just kind of a freak accident, and my left leg was cut off below the knee and made fun of for having this artificial leg kind of thing. So I uh, grew up with a bit of a chip on my shoulder. You know, you don't feel like you fit in. Brian's mother, Shirley, had an idea. She bought a used piano for $25. It became a priceless gift for her son. He learned, practiced, and received a music scholarship to SMS, but most importantly, received a purpose in life. Brian got his start in Branson working on the strip. No, not in a theater, but at this Walmart. In the toy department, which is the worst place in the world to work. You know, because you're, you're, kids are constantly, you know, playing with the toys. And the, my job was to, you know, stock the shelves, face the shelves. One day at work, Branson performer Gary Wilkinson of the Wilkinson Brothers heard he could play the piano and offered him a job. And I looked at those shelves and everything. And I was like, Absolutely. Brian started playing piano at the old Roy Clark Celebrity Theater. That led to a full-time job at Silver Dollar City, first playing the piano and later as a singer in the quartet named Chosen Few. They became so popular, the group would tour the region in the park's off-season. And on January 16th, 1994, Brian was on his way to another gig, this one in Marshfield. And my wife said, don't go. And I said, oh, it'll be all right. On I-44 near Stratford, Brian hit a patch of black ice, slid onto the westbound lanes, and into the path of a semi. The uh, seatbelt saved my life, but it's what caused all the damage because I found myself hanging by my neck out the door. Many didn't think Brian would survive the night. He suffered numerous injuries, including a broken neck, and he severed the nerves running from his spinal cord to his left shoulder, arm, and hand. And the whole time I'm lying there, I realize, you know, this is this is a big deal because I can't move my arm. You know, and of course, all the thoughts running through your head. I'm a piano player. But the man without movement in his left arm leaned on the lessons of a boy without a left leg. Even with the mess that I found myself in, God has this unique ability of taking a mess and turning it into a message, which is basically what he did with me. Following surgeries and while fighting depression, Brian got exactly what he needed, an emotional phone call. Silver Dollar City said, come on back to work. Now, you got to understand, at the time, I'm in a halo brace. Mm -hmm. I, I look like an attraction, you know what I'm saying? I want my life to be that road map that says home. Then Brian thought, if he could sing with a paralyzed vocal cord from that accident, why couldn't he play the piano with the one good hand he still had? Brian was back doing what he loved, performing at Silver Dollar City in the summer and touring in the park's off-season. Oh, this time, sharing his incredible story. I have every reason to sit at home and give up and oh woe is me but i just get up every day and i try to realize that i've got a purpose and everybody has a purpose now brian says if you are going through something tough in your life just know he still has a challenge he wants to thank his wife who helps him get dressed handles the majority of the chores around the house Brian and Spoken 4 opened their season at Silver Dollar City on May 30th at the Boat Works Theater. By the way, he's written a book on his life. It's called From Victim to Victory, and you can buy it on Amazon. We have a link to that book on our website. Just look for this story.